Meet TensorFlow Timmy, still lost in the digital wilderness. Right now, he's convinced the secret to an AI career lies in optimizing his Tinder bio with the perfect blend of buzzwords. Passionate about deep learning and long walks on the beach. Absolutely groundbreaking. His idea of an AI project following along with a five-year-old tutorial on image classification. Innovation at its finest. And this is PyTorch Peter, operating on a different dimension entirely. While Timmy is debating whether to use a cat selfie or a picture from the one time he went to a museum, Peter is designing his own neural network for fun. Timmy's portfolio? It's a graveyard of half-finished projects and broken code. And his LinkedIn DMs are drier than the Sahara Desert. Peter, on the other hand, isn't waiting for permission. He's getting into the latest research, implementing the core ideas from scratch. In the time that Timmy spends arguing in the YouTube comments, Peter builds yet another generative model. But the difference isn't luck. It's not even about intelligence. It's a fundamental difference in approach. Timmy is consuming, Peter is creating. Timmy's on the traditional path and Peter's making his own. Let's be honest, your AI portfolio still doesn't feel complete, but you shouldn't feel bad. It's not your fault at all. Most online resources are filled with the same generic advice and the same old project suggestions. Those projects are not going to help you land the high paying prestigious offer you deserve. And I get it because I was there too. And what changed everything for me wasn't another generic project. It was when I started to look beyond the basic projects that everyone talks about. And this shift in approach led to some pretty incredible opportunities. Before I even graduated, I was interning at places like Amazon, making over $80 an hour. And it didn't stop there. I received multiple new grad offers paying over $240,000 a year. So if you're tired of feeling like Timmy and you want to build a portfolio that actually gets you offers, then let's go over the two project ideas that you've likely never encountered before. Think about it, YouTube videos aren't just audio. They have spoken words, visuals, and even music. To really understand a video, a model needs to process all of these elements, and this project does exactly that. Here's what it involves. First, instead of just passing the transcript into your favorite LLM, let's incorporate the visuals as well. Here are the key stages. First, audio transcription. You're still gonna need the transcript. OpenAI's Whisper model is a state-of-the-art speech to text model that is highly accurate and can handle multiple languages. You can use a Python library that interfaces with Whisper to get the transcript. Second, extract the visuals. OpenAI's clip model is great at understanding the relationship between images and text. Simply extract key frames from the YouTube video at regular intervals, of course, to get encoded representations for the visual input. Again, that's what the clip model is for. Next, combine the transcript and the visuals. That's where the magic happens. We need to combine the encoded transcript and the encoded visual frames. The simplest way to approach this, the no-brainer way, is just to concatenate the transcript representation with the visual representations. Literally concatenate them together and then pass that into our next model. Finally, we just need to pick an LLM. It's important that we choose an LLM with an encoder, not just one with a decoder, so that we can pass in our combined representation. The output will be the detailed summary we want. And here's why this is so unique. It's because we're going beyond text-only summaries and we're going to incorporate the visuals from the video. That's how we as humans actually comprehend videos, right? We simultaneously process what's being spoken with what's being shown. Plus, building this project proves that you can work with cutting-edge models, which is essential for AI engineers. Let's build a debate bot. We'll have a single LLM that has two different personas, each arguing a different side of a topic. We're going to simulate a live dynamic debate and each side should actually retrieve evidence and cite sources. Here's how it could work. First, the persona definition. You'll need to define two different personas with different backgrounds, beliefs, and even communication styles. These are going to guide the arguments. Second, the topic. The user should be able to provide a topic, like 
Is AI a net positive for society? Okay, next is the evidence retrieval. This step is crucial and it's what makes this project interesting. For each persona, the LLM should be able to retrieve and actually present evidence to support the given arguments. This can involve integrating with search engines or different knowledge bases using APIs. And remember, the retrieved information needs to actually be relevant to what's going on in the debate. Fourth, a turn-taking mechanism. You'll need to implement a turn-taking system for the two personas. This could be a simple alternating pattern or even a more dynamic system where an LLM decides when each persona can respond. Finally, the argument generation. Based on the persona's characteristics and the retrieved evidence, the LLM should present a coherent logical argument. They need to be persuasive and they need to actually address the opponent's argument. And that's pretty much it for that project. Project, but I do want to finish out this video with some general tips for building these projects. First, start small and iterate. I know that sounds obvious, but don't try to build the entire complex system at once. Break down each project into smaller, more manageable steps. Again, I know it sounds obvious, but I promise that if you get a basic working version first and then add more features, this will be way easier. Second, document the whole process. Keep detailed notes on your design decisions, the challenges you faced, the solutions you came up with. You're going to want to discuss that in those interviews you get. Third, share the progress. Don't be afraid to show off your work on platforms like GitHub or LinkedIn. I believe in you and you're 100% capable. If you're still watching, I have two more resources to guide you on this journey. The first is our AI engineering accelerator called LLM Liftoff. Thousands of students have gone through the program, built a standout portfolio, and landed offers at top companies. It's simply a proven system that works, and we even have a full money-back guarantee in case you're not satisfied. There is one catch, though. The price will be increasing soon, so head to the link in the description to learn more. The second resource I have for you is another YouTube video. If you want to learn about the Invisible Hiring Funnel, a new strategy that students all over the world are using to land high paying offers, check out the video that's about to pop up. Trust me, if you're serious about your career, you don't wanna miss that video. It should be popping up now and whatever path you choose, I know I'll see you soon.